الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباد الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا السماء انفطرت وإذا الكواكب انتصرت وإذا البحار فجرت وإذا القبور بعصرت علمت نفس ما قدمت وأخرت يا أيها الإنسان ما غرك بربك الكريم الذي خلقك فسواك فعدل في أي صورة ما شاء ركبك صدق الله العظيم My respected elders, my dear brothers, and my children, it is an honor for me to be in your town, Rose Hill, and have opportunity to talk to you something about Deen and Iman. When we say Deen and Iman, <coughs> then we are talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are talking about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are talking about Quran al-Kareem in the ahadith of Prophet Muhammad Quran al-Kareem is book of 30 Jews and according to the topics if we divide Quran Kareem, so we can divide it in three parts. One third Quran is about jais, najais, halal, haram, all masail. That is one third. And one third of Quran Kareem is about stories. Stories of Ambiya Ikram alayhi stories of noble people, stories of um, kings. And the last third of Quran Kareem is Akhirat, Ayamah. What I just recited few ayats of Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning the scene of Qayamat here. Is a sama'un fatarat. When this is the sky will open. Is a sama'un fatarat wa idal kawakibun tasara. And these stars will be broken and disintegrated into pieces. Kawakibun tasarat waidal biharu fujira. And this system of rivers and oceans, water, it will all get mixed up. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْسِرَتْ And whatever is buried underground, it will be all thrown out. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ وَاخَا Just know that this is the time what you have brought forward and what you have left behind. That means Qayamat, Akhra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning the scene of Akhra. At this time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked one question to every insan. Every human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask one question. May it be young, may it be old. May it be male, may it be female, may it be wali, may it be ghos, and may it be fasik, may it be fajr. Every insan will be asked one question. 
and that question is ya ayyuhal insan ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem oh insan what is what was the power which diverted your attention from your rabb Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only that he will ask this question but he is giving you for example if you if you are having exam children are here when you are about to have exam in your school and someone brings you some questions and say look these questions will come in exam how would you feel it feel good that you know the answer before and <coughs> So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala not only telling you that question what it would be but giving you hints Farma hai ke ya ayyuhal insan ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem alladhi khalaqaka fa sawwaka fa adalaka I will talk about these things only. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked this question that, O oh insan, in your life we had set marks, notes, and indications in your life. look at left look at right look at up look at down everywhere allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set the indications set the notification everywhere allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said look at your wujud your takhleeq your creation allazi khalaqaka Have you ever thought that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala has done this favor to us that Allah created us? And how Allah created? Have you ever thought about it? Just think when one insan is created the life of the mother is in danger ask the doctors. That is the creation. how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings us to this world if we think about it we would never ever divert our attention from our rabb not only rabb rabb kareem allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying after all those what was the power we diverted your attention from me allazi khalaqaka i created allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only created us but he gave us such a fasawaka he gave us such a hasin beautiful qalib the the one which has got all the machinery in it can you just imagine allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation that we are sitting all together we are all supposed to be neat and clean if we don't look what's inside but we are so called neat and clean that is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ihsan that he created us, us all of us in such a way that our all shortcomings are hidden and we are sitting with each other Allah's qudrat everything is possible isn't it possible that where this our sweat comes out if our urine was coming from there would we be able to sit with each other no But just think how big ihsan big favor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done by created us in such a way that we are whatever thank we do to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will not be enough alladhi khalaqaka fa sawwaka fa adalaka 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that also we did adl. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created animal and created us. Tell me, if you look at horse, horse has got lips, horse has got tongue, horse has got ears, teeth, halak, all those things what we have in our halak, horse has it. Two eyes, but what is the reason that one horse cannot come and sit, give you a bayan here, and we can. If we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done adl with us, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us ashraful makhluqat, all the creation, best of creation. And fi ayyi suratim ma sha'a ratabak, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have you ever thought, which probably we never did, from Adam alayhi salam until now and from now until Qiyamah no insan is born on the same face look at the architects they run out of designs what they say after maybe 20 years they say bring again 1955 one or model again and they repeat then they go another 20 years. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Look at the, these slots and firm. What you can say that uh, model Allah had, has. Now they are coming until Qiyamah. No one would be born on the same face. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept difference between each and every insan. When you see twins, identical twins, they look alike. And you can say, that, oh, look, they are on the same face. But no, ask their parents. Parents know the difference. We go in a, like African countries, we see one uh, person came in the morning, another person came in the evening, we sing it. It's the same one who came this morning. But they know the difference. Look in China. They all look alike. But those who live in, among them, they know the difference. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created insan with little bit of difference in everyone's different face. So, until Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create insan on the same face. For example, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't have kept this difference and insan would have looked alike, all of us, what would have happened? These children wouldn't know, wouldn't know whether this is my mother or my khala. Somebody wouldn't know this is my husband or my devar. See, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this different, that means there is some plan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to run this dunya with the system. It would have been very difficult to know whether this is my brother or my husband. The whole plan of the whole world would be faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this difference so we can recognize this is my brother, this is my husband, this is my father, this is so and so. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept male and female separate, left the difference between male and female. But those who want to destroy the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they, if they are male, they try to look like female. 
grow their hair long, fashion and dress like colorful, look like and we enjoy the fashion full. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a, a system by which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us different from each other and male from female is different because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan. Male and female, their libas dress is different. Their emotions are different. Their physique is different. Their ibadat is different. And those who have, you know, like uh, disagreement at home with wife, especially, they should know when your libas is different, when her emotions are different, physique is different, how do you expect that your thought should be the same? Thought should be different too. So if you, if you lose your temperament on this difference of opinion, it's useless. <coughs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's teachings are, they, you deal with, with women as your friend. And when you deal with as a friend, there will never be a dis disagreement. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this difference itself. So just think that how could she think on the same level as I am doing? So whatever she is doing, good. As long as I know what she means, that's it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this difference to know that this is male, this is female. Ibadat is different. Women, they say quietly. Men say loud. Okay. Sajda is different. Tajheez or takfeen is different. Male and female. What they do that if male janaza just put, give kafan, put chadar and take and bury. But when it's women, no. All the na-mahram should be away. After kafan everything, before you lift the janaza, you have to put something which will keep the chadar up, will not touch the body. Unless and until you cannot take it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ghairat would not want body to be exposed anyhow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ghairat wants to keep that parda even after death. No one gets, you know, bad evil feelings after death when you see someone dead. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, no, unless and until you put something so that her body is not exposed. And when they put it in the cover, all the namaharam should be away. Put one chadar. That is, this is how important the parda is. And we, even living this life, we don't know the importance of parda. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this difference. One more difference I would like to mention and then I'll finish. And one that difference is by which nations are recognized. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to Medina Munawwara after Hijrah. So he saw that Yahud, they fasted on the 10th of Muharram. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sahaba asked why they are fasting. He said, because Hadrat Musa alayhi salam got us liberated from Iran. Okay. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, if I am alive next year, I will also fast on 10th of Muharram. But I will join it either with 9th of Muharram or 11th of Muharram. Why? 
because Ummat Muhammadiyah is different, Ummat Musviyah is different. To keep the difference of Ummah, keep the difference of nations, they are called Sha'ayr. If you see this uh, government tree, they have got different paints or different numbers. Why? Because they are recognized this is government tree. It is similarly, animals, sometimes they are numbered. So that Sha'ir are those things by which Muslims are recognized. For example, Assalamu Alaikum. Now we say, hey bro, hey what's up? <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this sha'ir so that it cannot be translated in any language. We are recognized by this. If five Christian or five Hindus and Adi are standing and if you are not saying salam to each other, how would you know that he is Muslim or not? We are recognized by Salam. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ab, you just make it Aam in your head. Just say it. One Sahabi used to go to Bazaar, market everywhere and he would come back without us buying anything. People asked him, so why do you go? He said, I just go and say Salam to every shop, shopkeeper. Because I get reward for it. We cannot say peace be upon you. No translation allowed. Sha'ir is never translated. Ramazan al Mubarak is Sha'ir. You are not supposed to say, Oh, I am not fasting so I can eat outside. No. Sha'ir, we have to have respect for Sha'ir. Ramazan al Mubarak. Safa Marwa is Sha'ir. They are our recognition. So these are the things by which nations are recognized. They, these are the difference. So see the difference, difference between among ourselves, difference between uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created so beautiful. One, uh, one lady came to Imam Shafi Rahmatullah and she cried, my, my husband has said that if you are not more beautiful than moon, you are divorced. So she was crying. Imam Shafi Rahmatullah said to you, divorce did not take place. Go live with, without fear. Subhanallah. Imam Shafi said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken oath upon many things. So many things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken oath upon. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ I, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created best creation, insan. So you live without fear. Best creation is insan. You are talking about moon. You are the best. Go. Live without fear. That is what we are. But we stand in front of mirror half an hour and you know, hair cutting and so and so. Try to make more beautiful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us. In fact, we, we, we just make mockery out of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us grace. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us izzat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we live as per the ahkam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as per the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as per the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah makes things easy for us and the whole world would be inshallah just piece of cake for us. If, if we go in uh, this, so easy. A deen yusrun, deen is very easy. People try to put in your mind, oh you are, oh dawa, oh tabliq, oh so and so. It's very difficult. No, it is not. Deen is asan. Deen is very easy. 
if we, if your dean says talk softly you talk to anyone yahudi hindu anyone you talk to him softly you will win his heart this is the asar of the so inshallah may allah give us tawfeeq to whatever we have heard and whatever we have said allah give us tawfeeq to act upon it and may allah give us barka in our life inshallah okay we'll have uh, zikr inshallah lai banai se la ilaha illallah so i have lost lot of energy nowadays is recently <laughs> i would like you to say with me so that i can relax a little bit मैं कि यार रहे यार अब तू मेरा और मैं तेरा यार रहूं यार रहे यार अब तू मेरा और मैं तेरा यार रहूं मुझको फकत तुझसे हो मोहब्बत खलक से मैं बेजार रहूं हर दम जिक्रो फिक्र में तेरे मस्त रहूं सरशार रहूं होश रहे मुझको न किसी का तेरा मगर होशियार रहूं अब तो रहे बस तादम में आखिर विरद जुबां है मेरे इला ला इलाहा इल्लल्लाह 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 तेरे सिवा मबूद हकीकी कोई नहीं है कोई नहीं तेरे सिवा मकसूद हकीकी कोई नहीं है कोई नहीं तेरे सिवा मौजूद हकीकी कोई नहीं है कोई नहीं तेरे सिवा मशहूद हकीकी कोई नहीं है कोई नहीं अब तो रहे बस तादम में आखिर विरद जुबां है मेरे इला ला इलाहा इल्लल्लाह 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 सब बंदे हैं कोई नबी हो या हो वलिया शाह नशा सब बंदे हैं कोई नबी हो या हो वलिया शाह नशा बाग दो आलम भी है तेरी कुदरत के हजूर एक बरगे का क्यों न मैं कायल हूँ के हजारों तेरी खुदाई के हैं गवाह खारो गुलो अफला को कवाकिब को हो दरिया मेहरो माँ अब तो रहे बस तादम में आखिर विरद जुबा है मेरे इला ला इला मोहम्मद नफ्सो शैता दोनों ने मिलकर नफ्सो शैता दोनों ने मिलकर आए किया है मुझको तबाह ऐ मेरे मौला मेरी मदद कर चाहता हूँ मैं तेरी पना मुझसा खलक में कोई नहीं को बद किरदारो न मसिया तू भी मगर गफार है यार बख्श दे मेरे सारे गुना 
وہ بھی مگر غفار ہے یار بخش دے میرے سارے گناہ اب تو رہے بس تادم آخر ورد زبان اے میرے الہ لا الہ الا اللہ 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 محمد الرسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم